often get asked about scripting and outlining my podcast episodes. And I have to admit, this has been an ever evolving process for me in my podcast journey. But I wanted to share with you my favorite tool that I'm currently using to create my podcast episodes every single week, and that is Asana. I've talked about it many times on this channel and in different aspects of my content, and I just love it so, so much. So I'm gonna show you in today's video how I use Asana to create and plan out my podcast episodes. So let's get right to it. Hey y'all, Crystal here today, and we are going to do a Asana hang on, in a sauna walkthrough, right? Proper English grammar, one day I'll get it right. Today's obviously not the day, but I wanted to do a walkthrough of how I use a sauna to plan out my podcast episodes and how it just makes creating content every single week that much easier. So let's just cut to the chase and hop over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how I use a sauna for my podcast content. So I have been using Asana for more than two years at this point, and you have no idea, I got so crazy giddy when they released their desktop app, right? <laughs> like that's the little things in life that really make my heart go around and make me super excited. But having the desktop app gives me the ability to really focus on what I'm doing and so whenever I'm going to plan content and create it, I'm not on the internet, like in different Chrome tabs, I'm just in Asana planning things out. Plus I can use Asana on the go and I'm gonna show you how to do that as well in this video today. But I first wanted to give you kind of a lay of the land if you've never used Asana before. So over here on the side, you have your home, which is what you're looking at right now. I just simply collapsed all the menus so it wasn't too overwhelming for you to see everything. But what I like is whenever you assign a due date to something, then you will have a running timeline of the different tasks that you need to do, the things that you have coming up. So whenever I open this, I can see, okay, I have a Facebook post, an Instagram post that I need to put up. I have a live that I'm doing later. I have a podcast episode coming up this week, as well as a YouTube video that I need to have done. So it holds me accountable. I know a lot of people have problems with keeping themselves accountable if you're a solopreneur or if it's just you managing the pieces of your business that are your content. It's hard to just say, oh, I just I just know I need to do it so I know I'll get it done. But whenever you have a project management system like Asana, you can actually hold yourself accountable by opening this up and saying, ooh, I need to catch up on these tasks or I need to get them done because that is due today. And since I've already done my IG and Facebook post of the day, I can actually mark that task as complete and it's it disappears, it's gone now. So that's what's really cool. That's kind of the overview of the home. Then I could go into my tasks and it's going to show me all of the things. This is where it can get a little overwhelming if you put everything that you need to do, which I do, which I'm gonna show you my content calendar here in a second. I put everything in here and then I categorize it based on whether it's a podcast episode, a YouTube video, a social media post, something for my Facebook group, one of my weekly emails. We create a lot of content around here at Profit Media and I like to keep it organized so I don't drop the ball anywhere and I know what is constantly coming down the pipeline for me and it helps me plan and batch. People are often asking me, like in this video here, like how do you batch podcast episodes? Well, this is a great video to get started and understanding how it works and the different ways that you can batch your podcast content. But to be really honest, the best way to set yourself up to batch content is to be very organized because then you can see, oh, I have all of these posts that I need to do for the month of July, where can I get ahead? Where can I actually sit down and batch that content? But we're not talking about batching today. We are talking specifically about creating and planning your podcast episodes in Asana. So I'm gonna go back to home and I'm gonna go to my favorites, which is where I keep a lot of my, uh, my projects that I'm currently working on. And I'm gonna go into my 2021 content calendar. 
Again, this is where I have all of my content. And there's a few different ways that you can look at the content in Asana, which is another reason why I love it. I like to plan my content in the list format, but then I could always go in, which is what you're looking at right here. This is the list format. This is literally everything that we did for the month of June as it's categorized and by due date. And I could assign it to different people. If I had a virtual assistant on my team, if I had a project manager, if I had somebody, I could actually just assign it to that person. But since I'm the one running the content for my company, I assign it to myself and that is how it winds up in my daily tasks. So I know what I need to be doing to keep myself on track. But what if I wanted to look at the calendar, right? What if I wanted to see what's coming up in the next few weeks? I could click on the calendar view. So now I can see, uh, and everything's color coded and it has uh, the different uh, statuses of what it is, whether it's a YouTube, it's my weekly email, it's a podcast episode. I can actually see it at a glance and kind of uh, understand what we have going on over the next few months. And this really helps me plan ahead with my content. So I had to interrupt because I wanna know, have you ever used Asana or another project management tool for that matter? I know for a long time I was resistant because it was just me. I was working by myself. I didn't have a team of people helping me out on a regular basis and I thought, why do I need something like that? Can't just a Google Doc or a Google Sheet keep me on track? But what I love so much about Asana is the ability to give myself the deadline and assign myself tasks so that I can check them off. So I want you to tell me in the comments, have you ever used a sauna? And what if you have, what's the number one thing that you love about it? Okay, let's get back to the video. But I specifically wanna go back, oh wait, hang on, let's go to the board view. This is another fun one. Because if you're familiar with the Kanban board uh, style or if you've ever used Trello, then you know um, kind of the setup of the board. And I like to look at this whenever I'm more so planning projects. But if you are familiar with Trello and you're already used to using this style, then you can absolutely use this view whenever you're using Asana. So it's another fun one that I like to use. Um, and I can just show all of my incomplete tasks. Right now it's showing everything, but let's just look at the incompletes. So I'm gonna click on that. And now it just tells me what I have left for the month of June. But I wanna go back to the list format because I think it's easier to read. So let's go to list. And now again, it's showing all the tasks. I'm gonna go back to just everything that's incomplete. And then I like to sort by due date just because I think it's easier to look at. And what they'll do is um, whenever I have the different sections set up by month in my content calendar, this is everything for the month of June. So it's not showing me everything for the whole year. It's just showing me for the month of June and I could collapse any of the other months that I have that I don't want to look at right now. But we are talking specifically about episode 265. This is what I wanted to show you, how I plan a podcast episode within Asana. So I'm gonna click on details and it's gonna open up what I've done. And what's really cool about the desktop application is I can come up here and I can make it full screen because it's still a little distracting if you see all those lists and the colors and everything in the background. So I make it full screen. So I am just concentrating on this one piece of content. I do this when I'm planning it and I do it whenever I'm using this information as my show notes. You can actually check out this recent video we did right here about creating better podcast show notes and what that looks like, but using Asana as part of planning and creating my show notes actually makes everything so much easier. So, so, so much easier. So what I will do is I, uh, I've already put a tag on it that it's a podcast episode. I put the number up here. I don't like to put the title because it's, I can just put the title down here in the description because at a glance, the episode number is what I know um, from, you know, which, which one is the next one I need to be working on. 
So that's what I do. That's just, again, my personal preference. You could put the actual name up here if you wanted to, but I like to have the episode number. So it's episode 265. I assigned it to myself. It's actually due tomorrow as <laughs> me recording this. But I can go in here and in the description, I have all of the notes that I would have created in my journal or written somewhere else. And I want to use it as part of my show notes or before I start recording my episode, I could come in here and drop all the things that I want to say in this particular episode right here in Asana. But what's cool is, you know, here's all the notes. I have everything in one place. But I could also assign myself the tasks of when I need these to be done. Because this task up here is due tomorrow. That's the actual date that this, this episode is going to air. And that's what typically the due date will be. But if I were having a teammate or if I was trying to batch content and I wanted to make sure that I had an episode planned, recorded, edited, and all those things, let's say a week before, and I wanted to really customize and streamline how I function throughout the week, I could go in and say, you know what? I really want this due date to plan it two weeks before I record it. And then I wanna record it about a week before it actually needs to be published. And then I need to make sure I edit it at least two to three days before it's out there. Do you see what I'm saying? Like this is how you can hold yourself accountable in being able to make sure that you are doing the things that need to happen before a podcast is ready to go out into the world. So, and this is what's really cool about Asana as I have planned it, okay, done. I've recorded it, okay, check. And they have these little like, you see that little creature that like shoots across the screen? Sometimes it's a unicorn, sometimes it's other animals that I don't know anything about. <laughs> but it's, oh, see, look, there's a walrus. There's a, like, there's this, it just surprises me sometimes. I don't always know what, oh, look, I don't, was that a ferret? Was that a bird? I'm not really sure what that was. And then let's say I've published it, I've promoted it, it's 100% complete. I can come up here and check it as complete. Now, it doesn't mean that it disappears. It's still there. Do you remember when we had all of our tasks? We had completed and incomplete. So it's not like you're deleting all this information. If you needed to go back and reference it for your show notes, or if you wanted to uh, search something for a future episode that you wanted to plan, you can absolutely do that. But what I really like is your ability to duplicate this to use it as a template for your next episode. So if you wanted to have, uh, let's go here, I can go to duplicate task, and then I could just name it, uh, let's say I wanted it to be for episode 266, which I'm gonna put example here, so I remember that this is just an example. But I don't want the due dates to be, diff to be the same, obviously, because it'll be at a later date, but I want the task description, I don't think I want that, because that was very specific to that episode, so I'm gonna uncheck that. I do want the assignee to be the same, the subtasks to be the same. There weren't any attachments, so I can uncheck that. The tags would tag it as a podcast episode. And if I had collaborators or the people that were helping me, I could absolutely click, yeah, I want the same collaborators. So I'm gonna select create new task. And now I have a template for my next podcast episode. Do you see what I'm getting at? I want it to be as easy as possible for you to have accountability for yourself, to keep track of your content and be able to create your podcast episodes very easily so you're more encouraged to sit down whenever you record. So let's go back out and see how this example task was created. So I'm gonna go out of here. It took me a second to find it because it was marked as complete, so I had to uncheck it. Like it literally duplicated everything. So I had to go back and uncheck the things that were actually not complete yet. But here we are, we have a template for my next podcast episode. And I just love how this will keep me on track to really create my consistent content that I'm looking for. So I would love for you to tell me in the comments what you thought about 
this training. If there's future Asana projects uh, or Asana videos that you would love to know about, let me know in the comments. So what did you think about today's tutorial? Was it helpful? Was it something like, did you learn something new? Tell me in the comments below what you thought about today's video. And I hope that you found it helpful. And I hope that you take action in really creating a more streamlined process for your podcast content. But that's all I have for you today. So make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe below, that way you don't miss our future videos that we put out every single week. Make sure you check out these other videos right here, all about podcasting and running your online business. And as always, remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.